Hello, my name's Brett, VK4FBMV. Uh, what we're doing today is actually setting up uh, using All Star Node, which I'm assuming most of you probably have got already, um, and using the iax.conf file um, to um, allow you to access your All Star Node via the DV switch uh, via Android. Um, and this is basically how to set it up. Okay, so. Now what you'll first have to do is obviously using either a software called WinSCP um, which I've got here um, and just actually Google WinSCP download the latest firmware for Windows um, and then obviously open that up and um, you'll actually set this up to start off with obviously using your IP address for your all-star node uh, your port number uh, username and password um, that you have for that usually it's um, root and then whatever pass you, you've set up or whatever name you've set up with uh, once you do that you just basically log in and uh, once you log in um, go to your start from the beginning uh, from your root you go to etc um, then go to asterisk and down there you've actually got two things we're actually going to be looking at today is the iax.conf file and also extensions.conf file now uh, we'll start off with uh, iax.conf um, and basically what will actually show up is something similar to this uh, yours obviously will, might be slightly different but um, it's generally the same as this uh, what you'll have to do is actually scroll down um, obviously all that will be filled out I'm assuming already um, if your all star node is working um, go down to the section which is example for Android iPhone and so on and so on um, underneath there there'll be a code very similar to this it might actually be called something else uh, like IAX hyphen Android or something similar to that um, you can change whatever's in brackets to whatever you like uh, mine just happens to be IAX client uh, and then obviously fill out all the same duplicates with this um, and then once you get a secret which is your password you can make up yourself same as your all star or make up a different one for it uh, and just enter it in there and context uh, which is IAX client uh, this can also be pretty much anything as well and we'll get back to that later um, and that'll show up in the extensions file as well um, okay so once you do that you press save um, go into extensions.conf um, and scroll down under globals I generally put the node equals 40381 or your node um, and then iax hyphen client which is the same as what's showing up in the context as previously in the iax.conf file um, and then obviously you copy you know, pretty much everything it's got here so you can actually pause the video if you wanted to copy it down um, and do it at the same time uh, once you've done all that and obviously just um, and you just click save once you've done that uh, you may have to generally you shouldn't really have to but probably just reboot your node anyway um, just to apply any settings that may need to be set and once you've done that uh, open up your uh, your app which will basically s should start out very similar to that when you open it um, for the first time click on the accounts tab which is up here um, and then you'll be shown very similar to this um, you got IAX2 so in the first section here you obviously click on that uh, put a tick in the box and then when it'll open up like this uh, obviously it'll have different things in here as well but what you generally do is actually you've got your host name which is your IP address or your server address um, your port which is actually what was forwarded um, from Allstar uh, to allow the outside access so Allstar can see your node uh, that's a similar one there uh, the username from the iax.conf file which is the one that was in the brackets which is iax client in this situation secret password which is the password you used uh, your call sign uh, don't worry about the caller number uh, your node number and then obviously your transmit and receive levels um, you can adjust those as needed I usually have mine about half to three quarters um, and once you've done that you'll basically be taken back to this screen um, and then go to your dialer it'll actually have your node number in here click on connect um, and it'll actually give you a tone that you've actually connected like a little dial tone once it's connected um, it'll actually tell you then the highlighted PTT button will actually show up um, at the same time you can actually use like your star 81 uh, star 80 for all your um, DTMF tones 
uh, which will bring up your call sign and what time it is and so on and so on. Um, and that allows you to press your PTT and that will actually allow you to uh, connect to your node via your um, Android device. Um, if you happen to be outside your network if you and you want to still access your node you can do that as well. Same procedure is exactly the same when you fill out um, your information uh, in here. The only difference being is actually up here is um, put your outside IP address or your outside server address um, which is actually how you access your um, network from outside uh, which is your IP address on here. Uh, once you've done that same thing um, and then obviously when you're out and about you just tick that one and it'll actually find that particular node and then uh, click connect and that's it. So no worries. Alright, if you have any questions let me know and uh, thank you. My name is Brett and 73's for now. Bye bye.